Hey and welcome back to the first chapter second part the road not taken now this is the poetry like the chapters are being divided into both prose and poetry so now we'll be focusing on the poetry the road not taken just like we have discussed about the writer of the story about margie and tommy we'll also discuss about the poet of this poem robert frost robert frost he was an american poet and most of his works include philosophical questions philosophical uh, things which are being actually understood and which had been imitated towards life what life means what all choices we can have and what other things which can be included into more of deep thinking so this is how this was how the author actually started formulating these kind of poetry talking about the theme of the poem the main theme of the poem the road not taken is actually talking about choices whenever in life we will be presented with two choices two different ways of dealing a particular situation and it depends on us what road we take what choice do we choose about ourselves at that time there is a lot of dilemma there are a lot of questions of which path would be correct in future what kind of results it's going to procure and one should make a dis- their decision swiftly and with cons- uh, confidence it is normal to wonder what the outcome may have been if the other road the different choice was taken now it happens many times in life like you chose a particular moment and you decided okay i will do this instead of this now once you start doing and if you have a failure or maybe you are not progressing that would you often think what if i would have taken at that moment the different choice so that dilemma that thinking process that philosophical question is what we are going to deal in this chapter and when we are particularly talking about the theme the phil- it is more of a hypothetical question now whatever things we think we don't actually just you know blabber it out speak it out so to contemplate with the hypothetical deeply like whether it is folly it is impossible whether to take the other road or can we take the choices can we have a middle road in between it what will be better what will be worse everything depends on the future outcomes of that particular choice the road not taken two roads diverge in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth now person now what um, what is the scenario here the author is the traveler the person who has two options now how they have divided the two options they said that there is a situation in his life and there are two roads the options the roads here depict the options these are metaphors the non materialistic things or uh, the non living things they are actually taken similar to that of living things or living situations so the person is the traveler the mind is the forest the yellow wood and these two roads they are actually the two options so he is saying that i being a single person in a situation i cannot travel both of these roads and i just analyze the way these uh, roads let's just say you are standing in between a crossroad there are two separate roads going so at the eye sight you can just see okay till there there are a few things okay i can see this is the type of road here and this is the type of road there but you can't see the end journey similarly whenever we make choices whenever we have choices we can predict possible outcomes but it is not always necessary that we know the end result so that is what it is said in the first one then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted view though as for the passing there had warned them rarely about the same now in this particular paragraph the options are looking similar to the person but he is describing those roads now uh, the roads as i mentioned are the opinions so the two options so he is saying that okay one of the path it is really green grassy and wanting where here means that it wants the person to just walk through it to just uh, stumble the grasses in between just crush them beneath his feet and make it look that someone has been here before so that is what we are discussing in this particular paragraph he is actually analyzing one of the options in the form of the roads and both 
That morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads to the on the way, I doubted if I should ever come back. Now here the author is actually describing what exactly he is feeling. He is mentioning the similarity between the two things, between the two options, two roads. So he is saying that both of them have lots of leaves fallen and no one has uh, walked through them or walked over those leaves which, are, which actually may turn the leaves black. And yet he knows that, okay, I kept the first road for some other day, some other time, some other situation, I'll take that road. But for this instance, for this particular moment, I would like to go with the second road. So he knows that one road leads on a way and he's doubting that, okay, would there be any other chance that I'll be just coming here back again? And we all know once a situation has been made in life, once the time has passed, we never come to that again. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the less travels. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. Now here the author is saying that once I take this road, when I take the other road which I have decided, the option which I have decided to pursue in this particular situation, after going through some time, I will just say with a sigh, it can be a sigh of happiness that the person became successful because of that choice or it can be that of a failure. But he will say that I had two roads, two options in front of me and I took that option which not many people choose. and that is what that has made a difference in his life. Now, let's just quickly revise the important key terms. So, diverge. As we already know, it's been, it means somewhat separated in a different direction as you can see in front of your screen. Undergrowth is a dense growth of plants and bushes. Like you, uh, Actually, it's quite opposite to the meaning of undergrowth. If you see the literal meaning, it will somewhat sound that, you know, it is uh, below the growth of what exactly it should be but undergrowth as together in english literary sense here means that lot of bushes and lot of trees were there so that the author could see only to a certain distance and after it the path wasn't clear okay so we have the questions now first question where does the traveler find himself what problem does he face now we need to say it not in the context of opinions, but rather in the literal sense of what exactly that has been written and presented in the poem. So, where does the traveler find himself? He finds himself at a crossroad. There are two roads in front of him and he needs to decide on which path he needs to travel. That also answers the next question that what problem does he face? He needs to actually choose one path out of the two on which he has to travel. Next question. Discuss what these phrases mean to you. A yellow wood and it was grassy and wanted blur. Okay. So a yellow wood here actually represents in literal sense, we can write this answer in two different ways in literal sense and in, in the philosophical concept. So both of them we can write in order to actually make it more appreciable and more understandable to the person who is going to check your answers or to you as well. So, yellow wood. Yellow wood has two meanings. The first meaning is that um, it shows that mostly autumn has been hit and the yellow color flowers and the trees and leaves have somewhat changed their colors back from green to yellow. So, that uh, it somehow looks like the whole forest looks like and gives an appearance about that of a yellow wood. And secondly, it is showing the, uh, it is showing the situation that the Forest represents the situation in the mind which is presented in front of the author. Second phrase, it was grassy and wanted view. Now here again two cents. Firstly, the road which was in front of one of the roads in front of the author was actually grassy. It was uh, the path was full grass uh, covered and then Wanted we are what we exactly meant by this phrase earlier in the poem was that that no one has actually walked down that road. So it was Calling the author, it was giving the impression to the author that the author should choose that particular path and walk on that grassy path. 
similarly the second philosophical answer you can predict of this particular phrase is that it showed that there was an option which looked which lured the uh, author more and which said that okay it might be risky but it is somewhat a uh, author should choose in order to have a successful result to the particular situation so let's have a quick revision about the poem so that we are all clear and we are all set with the answer so the road not taken is well known as a poem about making choices in life the author is robert lee frost in the poem the road symbolizes our life and the choice we don't make is the road which was not taken by the author now in the poem the poet decides the road but ponders about the road not taken or he thinks about like okay what have what have happened if uh, i had taken the another road the another choice in my life he decides to keep the other road for some other time though he knows that he, uh, there will never come a situation where he would you know walk down that path and then begin from this point again though one road which he has chosen would lead to many other crossroads there will be many other situations in life once he chooses this particular option the poet also wonders whether you know uh, exactly whether his choice is acceptable would it be successful what kind of results would be there would he be regretting his choice after some time but whatever happens the road he chose will make the difference in his life be it positive or be it negative thank you so much for joining in